I'm going to finish off tonight's show with a nice question on first principles and then follow directly by a question um, that they asked you on tangents. Okay, the question says the following. They give us a function. They say f of x is given as x minus 2x squared. And they ask us the first question for six marks is to determine the limit when h approaches 0 of f of 2 plus h minus f of 2 divided by h. That's a six mark question and the second half is hence find uh, the equation of the tangent, TGT stands for tangent, uh, 2f at the point where x is equal to 2, and that's for a further 4 marks. Okay, now I'm sure you guys would have seen this first definition. The limit when h approaches 0 of f of 2 plus h minus f of 2 divided by h. You guys are just used to seeing it with an x in that position. You're used to seeing f of x plus h minus f of x over h. The only difference is now they told you that instead of working with an x, your x is now 2. You're going to do exactly the same stuff than what you did when you did first principles with x plus h minus f of x divided by h. Remember the difference between the two things. f of x plus h minus f of x is a change in y value and then the distance of the difference between my two x values is h. So it's nothing other than a gradient. If we look at this formula just by itself, that is an average gradient between the two points x and x plus h. In our case here, the point 2 and then h units away from 2. And if I then take the limit, it becomes instantaneous. So it's in fact then a derivative. Okay, let's fall away. Our equation. Let me just get rid of this. Our equation that they gave us was f of x is x squared minus 2x squared. So I'm going to say fine. I'm going to do it bit by bit. The first thing I want to find is the f of 2. So what is f of 2? Go to my original function. I make all my x values 2's. So I get 2 minus 2 times 2 squared. Now 2 squared is 4 times 2 is 8. If I take 2 and I take 8 away, I get an answer of minus 6. Now I do the same for the second part, f of 2 plus h. What is f of 2 plus h? All your x's in here becomes 2 plus h's. So I get my 2 plus h minus twice the 2 plus h all squared. A little bit more work that I have to do over here. 2 plus h, now I need to square the second bracket. I get h squared plus that times that times 2. Remember, if you're squaring a binomial, this multiplied by that multiplied by 2. Don't be silly and under exam stress say that this thing squared is h squared plus 4. Don't forget about the baby in the middle. Okay, we get 2 plus h minus our 2h squared minus 8h. If I multiply those two and then minus 8. If I quickly add my like terms minus 8, and this 2 gives me minus 6. There I have minus 7h and minus 2h squared. Now I've gone and I've worked out my two y values. Now my formula tells me subtract the 2 and divide the answer by h. Okay, so f of 2 plus h minus f of 2 divided by h then will give me this minus 6 
minus 7h minus 2h squared. Now be careful, a double negative. My f of 2 was minus 6. All of that divided by h. And you guys can see minus 6 plus 6, those two are going to cancel each other out. And at the same time, you guys are so good at doing these questions, take out your h immediately. Don't waste time. Minus 7 minus 2h over h. The h's are gone. And you have minus 7 minus 2h. Now, the trick here is not to stumble over here with your negatives. That's the first thing to watch out for, guys. The second thing...